Man, um, first of all, I don't know how Earl Spence arrived to the Canelo question. Maybe someone brung it up. Maybe one of the reporters. And maybe we just we we just not getting the whole thing in context of him fighting Canelo and Cowboy in the Dallas Cowboy Stadium. But right now, I would have to see him how he look against Danny, I'm picking him to beat Danny. I'm picking him to beat Danny. But I want to show y'all something with Earl Spitz, with um, his, his attributes. And one thing about Mikey, Mikey like to pick a lot of the punches off with his glove. Pick a lot of punches off with his gloves and stuff. That's his defense. And, and, and sometimes he slips up some of the punches a counter. Now, Earl Spence, he's very good on the back foot. But Canelo, you cannot do this with Canelo. His style can't do this with Canelo. It, it, his punches is. Throwing these many punches against Canelo would be very bad for Spence Health. Cause Canelo he don't catch punches with his he don't catch punches with his gloves. He don't shoot punches like Mikey Garcia. He's on a whole different level. He's on a whole different level. See these punches that Mikey Garcia is throwing? Canelo don't do that. What Canelo would what, what, what Canelo will be doing is using his jab. He will be using his jab to in his lead and his footwork is way better than than um his footwork is way better than Mikey. What what Canelo will be doing is inching his front foot closer to Earl Spence. He will be inching real close, but his body will be back. That's an old school tactic. And what he would do is he would slip under these these jabs, roll, roll, slip, tuck under these jabs, and counter Earl Spence. But he also would be setting it up with his own jab, where he where he would almost have the timing of he would have the timing of Spence and Spence would not be able to throw his jab so many times because he would have to respect um Canelo's jab. So this would be a, a whole different tactical type of fight. You see all the movement and all the activities he's having right now against against Mikey, it would be a different type of fight with Canelo because of Canelo's jab. And it's nothing like Mikey's jab. It's a very quick, sharp jab. They is a very quick, sharp jab. And the way he moves and the way he comes in with his his lead foot, his footwork, he's very methodical with it. And and and, and, slip, and, and Spence is not smart. He won't even see it coming. So I believe Spence right now is it's like three or four fights away of of de- developmental, just developing to get the um, and building his body up to take the punishment from Canelo. He it, that fight is nowhere in the near horizons. There's nowhere near in the horizons. Canelo is a different type of fighter. You look at his footwork. Look at Canelo's footwork. Look at look at his head. Look at the head movement. People could say a lot of shit about Canelo, but one thing they can't say, can this kid fight? This kid can't fight. He's, his head movement, his jab, look, it's all, it's, look at this shit. It's on, I'm showing y'all these clips for a reason. It's on another level. Look at this shit. He's almost impossible to hit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I'm showing y'all some shit. These are professional boxers that cannot hit this kid. The way he, and his jab, his footwork, 
his commitment to the his commitment to his jab, his body punching off of, off of slips and rolls, and and most boxers trainers don't tell you to um to roll punches, the way he the way he roll punches is they don't even teach that no more. I don't even see I don't even see um trainers teaching how he how he roll punches don't te- teach that no more. It's like he just it's like on some matrix type of shit, the way he. But he make you miss by inches and then counter you to the head or to the body. And he must live in a gym. Canelo must have a gym in his bedroom. He must sleep in there. Look and see that roll? Come right back. Bop. That was set up by his footwork and his jab. And his head work. Bam. He's the best. He is the best boxer out there right now. I, I would say him and... um. I would say him and, and Tank Davis is the best boxers out there. As far as pure boxers to do it all, Tim and Tank Davis is the best boxers out there. Him and Tank Davis are the best boxers out there. Understanding a lot. Understanding defense and offense combined along with turning your punches over and picking spots to hit you. Canelo's dangerous. Spence. Spence is like, I say develop. He's like four to five developmental fights. I'm talking about develop in different skills. Developing. I'm talking about developing on a higher level. He's he's a few levels below Canelo. It, it just I just don't see that. I just don't see that fight. I just don't see Spence doing good on that fight. He would have to know a lot more. His defense had to be a lot better. His offense, his setups have to be better. He played with Danny Jacobs. Danny Jacobs not a bad fighter, but he actually played with Danny Jacobs. Toyed around with him. He was toyed around with him, man. I'm talking about Canelo at his best is when he really focuses a really hard person to fight. Canelo at his best is a real hard person to fight. I don't see Spence. I gotta see Spence. How he do against Danny? How he do against um, Keith Thurman? How he move up to 154? I gotta even see him fight somebody at 160 before I even say he had the skills to be Canelo. It's just, it's just, it's just another level. What motherfucker Meek Mill say is, it's levels to this shit. It's levels to this shit. And I believe. That's the fight that Canelo will show out on because of the fan base. He will go. He some of these fights he don't show out on, but I believe Earl Spence he it would get him up because of the fan base and because who Earl Spence is. He would he would he would get up for that fight and he would be he would he would come to show off. That would be a stage he would love to show off. Cowboy Stadium, bunch of fans there, pay per view. He would show out on that fight. He would come in there a hundred percent. He would come in there to kill. Earl Spence, Earl Spence Black. On top of that, he don't. I, I would think Canelo is one hundred percent fond of black people. He would come in there on some different shit. He would come in there on some different shit. But let me tell you, now if Spence is is is, is, is if Spence is well trained, he his style could give him problems. If 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 he's well trained and he and he and he add more things to his arsenal, he add more things to his arsenal. Just to just just his lead hand alone and his and that punch to the body is not going to be enough for Earl. It's not going to be enough for Earl Spence to get past at Canelo. It's it's not going to be enough. He got to add more tools, more defensive, deep, more defensive tools, more better footwork. All kind of he got to add a lot more things to his tool. He got to put more things in his toolbox to, to compete with Canelo Alvarez. But Spence is a good fighter. Don't get me wrong, but but um, fighting Canelo Alvarez, there's, there's some things that Spence do. He get caught. He he he, he get caught a lot. He get caught a lot, but. He cannot get caught like that with. He can't get caught this way with, with Canelo. He can't get caught like that with Canelo. 
Let's see how he comes forward. Let me show y'all some of the things how he comes forward. See, like, look, let me show y'all something. These, he would have to be under control. This is a total different fight. Canelo and Sean Porter is total different fighters. You can't even really, I just want to show you the footwork. Summer Spence footwork. I had, I had this pulled down his footwork. I want to show y'all some of his footwork. His footwork got to be much better. See where Sean Porter, when look where Sean Porter at, well, the way he could have stopped this assault, it's just with his footwork. It could have made Sean Porter, Sean Porter would have been reaching. Sean Porter would have been off balance. Earl Spence didn't have the, the um, the um he didn't have the, the ability. He got, he had the ability, but he had he had a mindset to, 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 to beat Sean like that was with, with your footwork. He used your feet to get Sean off balance. And I believe that's how, I believe Terrence Crawford would try to use that tactic and catch Sean Porter with shots he don't see coming, catch him off balance. But Earl Spence is, Earl Spence and um, Canelo break down, y'all. Peace.